Hey you guys, welcome to my channel. It's me, Candice the Aries. Coming to you guys today with a, I guess it's like a story time of my body and birth control. Okay, you guys, so let's jump right into it. So when I was in my 20s, I got on Depro Pavera. Depo, is what they like to call it. Um, and Depo in Spanish is do not take that. No, I'm playing you guys. Uh, it's nothing. It, it's, it's just Depo Pavera. No, it's not like in Spanish. It's like, no. So I started taking Depo Pavera in my 20s. I had a little boyfriend or whatever. Um, I was always kind of like a up and down kind of girl like when I say up and down I mean like straight up and down like I was never like really like shapely I wasn't one of those girls it was like oh yeah big boobs and a big butt it was like no nah. it was like regular size boobs and like a it was a butt you know it was one of them things it was like it's mm, it's a it's a butt so um I started taking that boy in my 20s I'm having a little boyfriend or whatever like yeah I'm still drinking the same to you guys because I'm I told y'all I spent a bulk record, so anyway. Um, I had my a little boyfriend or whatever. And so we ended up moving in together. And I was on depot, and it was just like one of them things where I was just like, I got on depot because I didn't want no babies. I just didn't. And no matter how often you practice safe sex, it just don't always work out that way. And so living in a house with your boyfriend and you and your boyfriend are living in a house together. Um, eventually, you're going to shoot up the club. Oh, that club's going to get shot up. And what I didn't want was uh, no babies. I just, having kids was just not in my plan. It was not. And I know everybody in constantly be like, well, you know, uh, you got a kid now, so maybe if you would have stayed on that boat. No. No. I got pregnant because I was being careless on some, you know, it is what it is. I honestly didn't think that I was even going to have no kids. I ain't, I ain't think I'd get pregnant for a while. I ain't even going to lie to y'all. But anywho. So, um, that's another story time. So, um, I got on depot because I was like, I didn't want to, I didn't want to get pregnant. Like we was living together and it was just one of them things where it's like, you know, I don't want no kids. So I had noticed like with depot all, all my life, pretty much until I got older or like after I had my son, rather, I was like, I used to stay between like 170, 180 and, and I'm 511. So that was pretty cool for me. I, it, it almost was kind of like borderline, like too thin in my opinion. So, um, I noticed that maybe like a year into taking a depot, like I started to gain weight, like, and I noticed, like I started to gain weight and my guy, of course, you know, he was loving me. So he was like, you know, no, nah, babe, you look fine. Don't worry about it. Like you good or whatever. So a couple of years passed, we're still together and I'm like a smooth, crisp 300 pounds, like. I blinked and it was like, I was 300 pounds. Like, I'm like, I felt so betrayed by every friend, every family member I ever had. It's like, y'all saw me getting fat and nobody said nothing. Y'all was just complimenting or like them pants or like that shirt or like, your, nobody was like, dang girl, you getting kind of thick in the face. Nobody was saying that. So I was 300 pounds. Didn't even realize I was 300 pounds. It's 300 pounds until I went to the doctor to get another depo shot. Because it was time, and they tell me, you know, we're going to give you this depo shot, but you need to lose some weight because you're becoming hypertensive. You know, you're, you're borderline hypertensive. Like, your blood pressure is borderline high, and you're borderline hypertensive. Now, for me, um, when I think hypertension, I think diabetes, you know, high blood pressure, hypertension, diabetes. I feel like all of that runs in the same circle. And... uh. I've seen people die from diabetes and that's like, or complications due to the onset, offset or whatever of diabetes. So I know like what comes with that, like having to take insulin, some people lose limbs and stuff like that. And I'm like, oh no. So um, I was like, okay, well, you know what? 
I'm not taking the depo anymore. So I was on a depo for maybe like three, four years at this time. And I was like 300 pounds. So I got off of the depo and legit, you guys, like, I won't even say, I wouldn't even say it was like six months, maybe in like four months. When I tell you all that weight fell off, like all of the weight fell off. And like that, I was back down to my regular size. At the time I was working in a, um, in a pharmacy, um, I was a, a pharmacy tech. And so like, I remember me like going, getting to a point where I had to like roll my pants up and even still then like in my head, it wasn't even dawning on me that I was losing weight. Cause I had just got so comfortable being big, which was horrible. Like I just, I didn't, I didn't like being big. I was just like, this is what it is. Like, I'm like, my man loves me. So whatever. But I had got, you know, used to being big and being in a pharmacy, um, you have to stand up all day and my feet used to swell up like my feet used to be they used to hurt so bad like it used to just be painful just to walk and i noticed that like my feet wasn't hurting anymore and i'm thinking like oh you know maybe i'm just used to standing up all day working in the pharmacy but nah it was because um i had lost a lot of weight so what the when i noticed that i had lost a lot of weight was when i went to um i was shopping like ashley store and lane bryan and stuff for my plus size clothes because i couldn't buy clothes like in regular places anymore and i had went there and i had went and tried on a pair of pants and i was like hmm like i can't even fit these pants so i went and got some more pants and i'm like hmm i can even fit these pants so then i ended up getting the, the smallest size pants that they had and i couldn't fit that and i was like did i lose weight and so then i went to like a, a regular store you know, I went I went to a store that had smaller sizes than the smaller size at Ashley Store in Lane Bryant. And I was able to fit those pants. And I was like, oh my God, I lost weight. So that just was like, okay, well, you know what? I ain't dealing with Depo no more because Depo is tripping. So um, fast forward to um, I had my son. Like after that, I just, I didn't do birth control at all. I was just like, you know, you just be careful. Be careful. You know, me and my guy broke up and, you know, I was single for a little while, you know, got in relationships here, there, whatever. I was just like, you know, be careful because even still, you know, kids was not in my plan. Like having a kid was like not in my plan. You know, now I'm just like, what kind of life did I have without my baby? Like, but you know, that's another story, of course. But, um, I had my son when I was, um, I got pregnant at 29. I had him at 30. Like I, yeah, I, I was 30. So at, when I, after I had him, I was like, you know, I'm done. Like, I'm done. Like, I enjoyed being pregnant, you guys. Like, I enjoyed being pregnant, like the big belly. Like, and I was pregnant all summer. I was like, I don't understand what people be tripping on. Like, I hate being, I don't want to be pregnant or something. It wasn't that bad for me. I was still tying my shoes and everything at nine months. I wasn't like, it, it didn't bother me. So, um... But after I had him, I was like, yeah, no, nah, you know, the, the, the sleep deprivation in itself was enough for me to be like, nah, I'm cool on that. I'm cool. One is enough. I'm cool. Let me love on him forever. So, um, after I had him, I was like, you know, I want to get on birth control because I'm like, you know, I really, I don't want, I don't want to have any more kids. Um, I just want to, I just want this one. So I went and got the implant, the implant in my arm. Excuse me, you guys. So I went and got the implant. The implant. I got the implant in my arm, and um, it was like immediately. I started gaining weight, like immediately. I I I know my body and those hormone birth. I like. I don't know if all birth controls have hormones in them. I don't know. I really um wasn't interested in doing like a whole bunch of research on it because I was like no. So like, I gained fifty pounds when I had my son. So. When I had him, I was big. After I had him, like, I breastfed him and everything like that. But because I had got on the birth control right away, like, I started gaining weight, like, right away. So, breastfeeding didn't work for me. Like, people say, oh, you lose weight when you breastfeed. I wouldn't know because that didn't happen to me because I went and got on birth control right away after I had him. So, um, I'm like, okay, well, I'm gaining weight. So, then my weight got up to pretty much like 300 pounds again like I was maybe like 280 288 at my highest it was something like that and so I'm mortified so I'm like oh my god like I'm gaining all of this weight so I legit was trying to have all I was trying to do all of these like diets that were safe for you to do when you was pregnant and not pregnant safe for you to do while you was breastfeeding and stuff because I still wanted my milk supply to uh, come in so I tried to act as I like a, a idiot 
and my milk supply dried up. And Atkins never said, like, I never read no place where Atkins said that it was safe for breastfeeding. That was when I, I started doing my research about safe dieting while you're breastfeeding or safe things that you could do to lose weight while you're breastfeeding to not dry up your, your supply. After I did the Atkins diet and my supply completely dried up, literally guys in like three days, my whole supply like dried up. So I had to stop doing that. I was taking like, they had like some postnatal pills or something I have got from this company that was supposed to help uh, lose, you help you lose weight. And that just stuff, that stuff was not working. So I had gained like pretty much all of the weight that I had lost with Depo years before. I pretty much gained it all back. I was feeling mighty low. I went into like a, a bout of depression that lasted three months. Solid years. I might do a story time about that, but that that time is like super triggering for me. So I don't know if I will. But the just me gaining all of that weight back and just it, the whole situation with just dealing with the birth control, it did something to me mentally. It did something to like my hormones and everything. It just had me feeling some type of way. I was feeling just sad and just everything just. I just didn't feel good. It's like, I still love my son. So it wasn't like postpartum or anything like that. Like I still wanted to be around him. I still wanted to love on him and everything like that. But it was just like, I, because I had gained so much weight, I just really, I didn't feel sexy. I didn't feel desire. I just didn't feel none of that. And so um, I went maybe like a month after I had got the implant in my arm, I went back and had it taken out. And then after that, that week was like, girl, we like it here. And so literally ever since then, like my son is six, he'll be seven in November. Ever since then, like I legit have been battling, battling, um, losing weight. It is not easy, y'all. Like it is not easy. I don't consider myself to be like a big girl, but I want to be smaller, I want to be the size that I was before I got pregnant. Just like every woman who has a baby. And it's like, I want to be the size that I was before I had a baby. Like, I'm really trying to be on some, like, I want people to be surprised when I tell them I got a kid. I don't want people to be like, so how old is your kid? It's like, uh, hello, sir. My name is Candace. You know, you don't know why you got to be at that. But I'm just saying, like, so I'm always trying to, like, um, find ways to, like, lose weight. And things like that because I'm so petrified to get back to that point. Like right now, I'm cool. Like if I could get down to like 180, 190, I'm cool with that. Because I was cool with my with my weight when I was like 190, 180, 190. 170, that was a little too dramatic for me. But like 180, 190, I was cool with that. So right now I'm like 30 plus pounds away from being in the not in the 200s no more so for me that's a goal because at one point i was like 88 pounds one point i was like a whole 100 pounds away from being 100 plus pounds away from being under 200 pounds so it's like you kind of got to take it in stride but like i realized after i did the implant like i thought i had the implant birth control it's like something with my body and those extra hormones like my body does not do well with it i gained weight like immediately immediately like legit like gorging on food like, I wasn't even this hungry when I was pregnant. But just, like, gorging on for Like, you're never full. It's never enough. It's just... It was crazy, y'all. It was crazy. But, yeah, so that's why, like, I don't do birth control. Like, I don't. I just be careful. You know? It's a lot of pre preventative measures that you could take to not get pregnant. It's a lot of preventative measures that you could take if you have a slip-up. If somebody shoot up the club and you weren't really trying to have nobody shoot up the club, but the club got shot up for whatever reason, they got pills you could take, you know, other, you know, they have preventative measures that you can take to prevent yourself from having a kid, condoms for females and men. Oh, I ain't got to get into all of that because y'all know, you know, we grown, whatever. But like, yeah, so that's the story, you guys, of why uh, my body and birth control, my body does not do well with uh, hormone birth control, boo-boo. I don't know if all birth controls have hormones in them. I don't know. I just kind of felt like the hormones that, that's in birth control is what prevents you from getting pregnant. But, you know, you learn something new every day. So maybe that's just really not how they work. I don't know. But what I do know is they are not for me. I am, I made it this far. And only got uh, one kid, so doing pretty good. 
doing pretty good. So, you know, hey, I'm cool with my one. Cool with them. You you never know what you what you what you want until you get it. Cause legit, I was like, I ain't never having no kids. And I got pregnant. I was like, oh my God. I love them. I love them, you guys. I love them. Maybe I'll do a, a, a story time of like how I found out I was pregnant. Like that was wild. So yeah, you guys, not gonna let this go on too long. Um, make sure you guys go check out uh my coronavirus video. Uh it's a lot of good information in there, you know. I put on them links in the description, y'all. Re hashtag re and um that's it you guys so as always that's gonna be it for me candace the aries and always remember to enjoy the journey